Oi. But how many people are actually racing? Only 11. So there's no Hogan, there's no Hill, and there's no McEwen, and there's no Welsh. Right, okay. Here we go. I will put it in the chat thingy. Right then, hello, good evening, uh, everyone. And welcome to this, the final round of the Season 9 the GT Sport SPR BTC Super BTC Blueprints and with Paul Walsh. Uh, the last round coming to you at Spa. I am uh, Sean, as always, and I've been joined yet again by a guy who recently beat... Uh, drained the Rock Johnson in the rest of the match because he brought a sheet of A4 uh, with him because everybody knows paper beats rock. It's Jenny Bear. How you doing? Hey, good. Glad to, glad to be here, man. How are you did doing you, today? Uh, a little bit of a chesty cough, but I don't have COVID, so we're all thankfully good. Did you, did you like that joke there? <laughs> I love them always. There we go. <laughs> so <laughs> we've only got, I think we've got 11 races here today, but Spa... What, what can you say about Spa? Nothing, you can't say anything bad about the psychic, can't you? Uh, no, it's a store track, and I think most everybody probably enjoys the track. Super, it's a super fun track to drive, but, you know, racing-wise, to see how different people handle it, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see, because sometimes it separates, and sometimes it's crazy battles, you know? It's historic for a reason, I guess. Indeed it is, and I think there's no better way to, to finish off a final race here at this historic track. Looking here towards the point, uh, and it's everything really to play for here, as it is double points, and after the uh, penultimate round last week at uh, Fuji, Nicholas Cole still leads the way with 336. Uh, Liam McEwen, who is actually not here tonight, is on 277, so his second place is under a lot of threat now from a whole uh, gang of uh, drivers behind him. So, really, effectively, the only close battle maybe for the championship is between Carl and his teammate Chris Clements. And Chris is a massive 104 points off of Nicholas Carl. And if my calculations here, there's only 11 people that are racing. So I've got my points tally up here. So six points you get here. So you double that, you get the 12. Uh, so 25 for a win, that gets to 50. So 50 minus 12 is 38. So 38, 76, 114. So basically, just Carl needs to finish ahead of uh, Clements, and he's the champion. Just as simple as that, really. But it's going to be the battle for second place. Since McEwen is not here, Clements is 45 adrift of McEwen, and then you've got Milton sitting fourth on 210. And he is 22 behind Chris Clements. And then Milton's teammate Piper on 204. Sean Koo on 180, a two-time winner. Thomas Walsh on 167. And Alex Austin, too, uh, sitting eighth in the points on 156. It's, it's anyone's guess here to, uh, to finish who's going to finish second and third. Uh, yeah, I mean, with McEwen being out, that opens the door for second and third. Uh, first sounds... If there's 114 points available total, and he's 104 points up, mm. I don't see how he wouldn't gain 10 points by just showing up, um, almost, just seeing how he's raced previously. So that's probably out the window as long as he stays in the lobby. But second's wide open. Everyone's within that. There's, a, you know, what is it, third through sixth the most has a chance to get onto the podium now because of that. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fair, maybe, maybe, go down, maybe go down to Austin, too. If he gets a good yeah. and he's been looking quite quick too is at austin well just looking at everybody most everybody's running within about a second of each other um who knows how hard everybody's pushing on their hot laps here who's caught slip versus who hasn't but uh just watching most people's hot laps everyone seems roughly similar i mean it's spot it's going to come down to whoever can handle the no name corner and just that entire infield section because it's the only real separation everything else is just driving straight anybody can drive straight and also, one thing we, we need to touch up on as well is they have like a, a relegation uh, battle going on. 
because as far as I know, Jeff Colombardo is in that sort of relegation scrap. He sits on 70 points. Then you've got Jordan Hogan on 65, who isn't here tonight. And Leon Welsh, Walsh, sorry, he sits on 40 points and he's not here tonight. So I think that's confirmation that uh, Leon, uh, Leon is going to be racing in the Mazdas, I think, for next season, which, which will be a shame. But uh, I think that'll be a huge sigh of relief for the guys like Colin Barrow and Rob Adams, who who is actually racing tonight. There he is right there, Rob Adams, after a two-week break, after racing in Stetson, and I can't remember what he did last week. But uh, he'll uh, breathe a huge sigh of relief that he's not going to be rele relegated and he will compete for Season 10. So, oh, and uh, so that's the driver's standings out the way. Getting on to the team's points uh, Garmin sits on 671 REC on 570 Aeon are sitting third with 431 only uh, well Thomas Walsh and Tompkinson are racing no J kill because he is uh, racing at Spa at Spa that's, that's what we're racing at today no we're, he's racing at Croft with a BTCC uh, this weekend so good luck to, to Jake Silverline on 408 but they are going to have only Ash Ash racing for that team because, like, well, like we said, then McEwen and uh, Leon Walsh are not racing, and VXR on three, three, eight, only seventy points adrift. So we may see maybe a change of position for the uh, last play, fourth place in the team's championship. Uh, it looks like that might be the only real battle. Um, you know, third and fourth were probably in a battle, but with just the fact that a couple haven't turned up they're probably not going to have enough points on the table to even change anything. So that probably will stay similar. But fifth with having everyone on the board, yeah, sure, they could absolutely jump up in there. I don't know what the map is on 100 points. They're probably not doing that uh, to get all the way onto the podium, but they could definitely make sure they stay off the bottom. So then we're getting this five-minute qualifying underway, and uh, first out looks like it will be uh, the championship leader and, well, pretty much champion-elect Nicholas Carl making his way through Eau Rouge and then into Radion, closely followed by Ben Milton, who is fighting for that second spot in the championship. Now, Nicholas was actually kind of very angry about the driving standards last week at Fuji. He wanted to quit. He, he was threatening to quit because he thought he was guaranteed enough to win the championship. But if it wasn't for me messaging on Facebook saying, look, it's double points, you know, he wouldn't be racing here. But uh, yes, because he's he's not a fan of the uh, the driving standards here in the BTC scene. As, uh, I think we may have a, a return to lobby because Thomas Walsh has got a pit yeah, glitch. Yeah, Thomas has been stuck in the pit since the start, spinning around, so... I think there's been a few of them in the pits too, by the looks of it on the map on the top right of our I, screen. I think people are starting to back out. Yeah, I think people, people are backing out, yeah. They'll have, to, they'll have to restart the lobby. So yeah, Nicholas. Uh, I mean, I get being oh. hot-headed, right? Um, yeah. I've been accused of being hot-headed on many occasions about stuff right after a race absolutely um you know that's kind of part of like being competitive is you know wanting the best and expecting the best to be around you if you think you're the best and you don't think everyone else is keeping it up you know i whatever that's how that is i get being competitive um but he's still here today so you know i guess you know let the future decide that I think we're gonna to have to restart the I don't I really still oh. don't understand why people start on softs for qualifying. <laughs> I, 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 they've done it every like people have done it every week and I just can't imagine that that's over like a five minute qualifying that that's a, that that's the best choice. Yeah. It seems like you're leaving time on the table there. Mm-hmm. Even if you feel more confident on them over a stint, like qualifying isn't a stint. It's just trying to put the best lap you possibly can down. Mind you, there, there, there will be some tracks that the soft tyres are, are pretty much better than than having the super softs. I think Saint um, Alsace was definitely one of them where the softs was working a lot better than than the super softs. Even though the super softs are a lot quicker, but you know they wear a lot quicker. Um, but I mean, it's just up to it's just how the drivers choose. They want to go super soft steam, you know. It, it, you know, I mean, it's their choosing. I mean, it could it could work for them later on in the race when they when they change the tires. But uh, yeah, again, to what you were saying about with, with Nicholas, he's 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 more of a he's more of a yeah, a clean uh, driver. 
and uh, he doesn't like having uh, some rubbing racing. But I mean, that's what you kind of get to expect in in British touring cars, you know. I've been I've been watching touring cars for twenty two years, you know. You 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 got to get your elbows out. You know, you you will get to race against some people that will race clean with you, but there's some people that can race you know you've got to pretty much earn your position to get by them you know i mean we saw that the first round at uh at, at catalonia we saw you weren't here when when i was commenting the first two rounds here we had a driver called ryan martin in here and uh he was making contact with guys on the going on to the inside but then come the following week at saint croix mm. he was getting hit off the track uh last week didn't like it and then exit the championship so i mean in btcc it's a case of you know give and take don't give it out unless you take it back and in case of ryan martin's hands he didn't like taking it back so but i mean that that this is what british touring cars is all about you got to get your elbows out you got to somewhat get a little bit aggressive on on some occasions you know you will get the odd clean race to that but um I mean that that is I mean, that is basically what British touring cars is all about. Yeah, I mean, show me any league that has no contact, clean drivers only, and like that everyone would join. That's just not a thing. That's not how racing works, right? Everyone's trying to get. No one wants to give up a position. Everyone's trying to battle for everything, and you know it's a battle of tenths of a second. Man, things happen, and yeah, coming out of races, I'm always hot headed, right? I'm sure there's <laughs> plenty of people who would be like, I'm not, and then if you really broke it down, it's like, yeah, I'm pretty hot headed coming out of a race if something happened. <laughs> but you can give someone a week to settle down or something like that. Usually, you know, cooler heads usually prevail. I think is Thomas stuck in the pits again. I don't know. Uh, Thomas is not moving it in the pit lane. Doesn't I don't look know. Like he's he may... attempted to move yet. Uh, he might need to maybe clear his. He maybe pit bug. I'm not sure what they do in the case of a pit bug. Oh, no. uh, every league has their own rules. Oh, he's got the pit glitch again. He may need to clear his cash here for this actually. He might be all right. Yeah, he's, he's still got the pit glitch again. If Thomas is watching this, maybe clear your cash, maybe. That could help. Uh, he, honestly, he if he is listening, oh. he just needs to exit right now. Like, actually unregister his car and then just re-register it. But it's a qualifying session, so that's going to mess it all up. So he yeah, and, and, and I don't think he'll have... He'll probably have time to do it, to just get in at least one lap in. But, yeah, I, can't uh, get fifth. I mean, that's tough. I, I'm assuming he'll just start at the back. Uh, I hope he's not stuck on the grid, though. I'm not sure what well, I hope not. I hope not. Because he is, he is actually in right. contention to finish second at the championship. Regardless of that, it does look like people are coming around, getting ready to start their first qualifying lapses. Ben has just gotten super separated from the whole pack, and I guess we'll see how hot a lap he can run by himself on Spa, but I think Spa's probably going to go pole position to whoever stays in slip like every other car is trying to do right now. I'm really curious uh, what Sean's going to do. Like, I would try to back out of this. I wouldn't want to be in the car pulling cars around. I would oh, which he's doing. He's actually... Oh, I would just sit on the side of the road until people pass. That's exactly what I'm doing. Like, I'm not moving until people I, pass me. Do you know, <laughs> like, I think Tom Tompkinson was thinking the same. Austin was thinking the uh, same. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> it's the worst thing in the world. Like, no, I don't want to be here. This is ridiculous. I'm not pulling the entire track to a good qualifying lap. I think Thomas is still in the pits. I thought he was just going out of the... Uh, oh, uh, I think Carl... And everyone behind Carl is sitting real nice. They have a lot of people to slip, so they can actually use the slip to get by and then just follow the next car in the next slip zone to get by and do that on all three slip zones for, like, the fastest lap possible. So he's having a bit of teamwork there because there's his teammate, uh, Chris Clements, behind him as they're going into towards Eau Rouge and then into Radion with a minute and 48 seconds to go. So... They will do at least one lap. It's pretty much like a one-lap shootout for this qualifying. So, really, cannot afford to make a mistake around uh, Spa, Frank or Shaw. And you can see Carl getting a nice tool on the Kemmel you know, Street with Rob Adams. Yeah. That's probably actually... a good reason why Ben's separated from everybody through all they do this. Because he doesn't have to deal with any of this, so he gets a clean lap guarantee. Well, that's pretty much sacrificed Rob of a good lap time, so Rob's not going to be qualifying that oh. high up through the order. Niklaus got very sideways there and probably lost a lot of time there. 
He may have actually, because Clements has gone ahead. So yeah, and he was he passed um, Adams, and Adams had to shortcut uh, the late home chicane. Yeah, well, it seems like everyone instead of slipstreaming through here, they're almost racing a little bit. We'll see if anybody has been able to really just slip in there and not lose time. Um, but maybe just getting out by yourself and just running a hot lap is going to be the best strategy here. Seen Carl getting a good run there through Pool. But he doesn't want to upset his teammate there, because don't forget, his teammate is fighting for second place. And I mean, I mean, it is definitely well, uh, up for grabs as Austin's gone a little bit wide off there, uh, Lafania. Yeah, Carl can't really get his qualifying lap back. You can't just randomly lose 0.8 seconds and think, like, the slipstream is going to, like, somehow get you on a hot lap again. Like, he can kind of recover it by staying with him, but there's not much he can do other than try to get Rusty as fast as he can go, I would say, or uh, Clemens as fast as he can go. Like, so just think, try to recover it. I think Milton's going to be the only one that's going to do yet another lap. He's got six seconds to go. Can he cross the line just in the nick of time? It. He will indeed. Two minute 27. Oh, uh, sorry, 110. So Milton's the only one to do a second lap. What can Tompkinson do? And he will go quicker by nearly a second. A Sean Cool yeah. goes quicker. Sean just goes to the point. Carl's only good enough for sixth place, so that mistake has really cost him, but it would be it would probably make no difference whatsoever. Well now Ben gets to run a lap just by himself out here, and he knows exactly what he has to run. So he knows what his time is. Every time he see goes by one of these sections, he can see whether he's pushing it or not. Um it's an interesting spot to be in. He does get the second lap, but I don't know how big a difference it's gonna make. Well, he's just slightly up on his first sector, but it's not going to be enough to challenge his teammate Austin's time, who's nearly a quarter of a second I, quicker than yeah, Ben. But that's not where he gets it, right? He's definitely going to pick it up here if he's gaining it through this infield, because that's just Oru and uh, Redillion. That's nothing. That's a straight line. Yeah. So if he's going to so. pick it up, this it's going to be is it. this split he gets starting section oh. three. Section three is also just a big straightaway. So it's really if he can push this infield section to its absolute maximum, because this is where you gain a second or lose a second. To be honest, it's this corner right here. This corner, if you nail it, can really make your pace stay high. Now let's see how he does this. In the fourth gear, little tap on the brake in mid-corner. That might scrub him a little bit of time, but he looks nice and tidy through Puong. And now he goes in towards the Fania chicane. And then almost reaching to the second split time. Shonku with the pole position. Runs a little wide through the first Fania. So he's not going to run pole anymore. Definitely not going to be pulled, run and pull with that entrance in there, Fania 1. Now in towards Stavolo 1. Taking an awful lot of curb. Does he improve? Gets Ooh, on the Ashtev. No, he's not going to improve. He's nearly a second off. Yeah, no. As soon as he ran wide going in there, I think he was probably a little bit off. No name. Uh, the no name corner is, in my opinion, just uh, one of the most brutal ones because it sets you up for Puhan, and if you hit it right... You just carry so much more speed down there, it changes your braking zone. If you hit it wrong, the exact opposite. It changes your braking zone the other direction and just throws the entire entrance to Puhan off. Um, so it's real important to get that whole area set up, because the infield's the only real place on Spa that you can gain massive time on your opponents. Everything else is just mm. chicanes and straight lines. Yeah, indeed, yeah. So confirmation there, that would be Sean Cook will start on the pole. Tompkinson will start second. They're only four hundredths far as slower than Sean Cook. Chris Clements will start third. That would be key for his uh, uh, option for, for second place. Austin, the first of the BMWs in fourth. Then his teammate Milton will cross the line fifth. Nicholas Culver, champion elect sixth. Piper, seventh. Colin Bardo, eighth. Ash Sharp, ninth. Rob, Ad Rob Adams will start tenth. And Thomas Walsh with that unfortunate pit glitch will start at the rear of the field, I think. So, yeah, I think yeah, qualifying has now officially ended. There's a look at the uh, how they were. And uh, we are getting ready for race 16 out of 18. So... There you go. There is your 11 cars. I've already said it there. Cool. Tompkinson, Clements, Austin, Milton, Carl, Piper, T Colin Baru, Sharp, Adams, and Walsh. That completes the 11 car field. Seven laps around this track. Pit stop maybe between, I don't know, two to, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Anyway, the lights are on. Engine revs uh, rise. That's a long hold, and away we go, and Thomas has seemed to be stuck. I don't know if he's stuck on your screen as well. Is he, he is stuck on your screen? Stuck. 
Yeah, he's, he's, he has to clear this catch. But anyway, he might have to do a restart. I don't know. I think this is the first time for me that's happened here because I've not seen the car stuck. But anyway, Tompkinson in the lead. It's Colin Barrow being shoved off wide off of the uh, last horse hairpin. But anyway, Tompkinson in the lead. Cool second, Clement third, Austin fourth. Carl already gained a spot in fifth. Milton's already dropped a couple of spots. He's down to seventh place. And already fighting with Colin Barrow side by side. Going towards the Kemmel straight away. Yeah, Thomas has left the room. He deal with it. I mean, if he does, if he is watching the stream, clear your cash. I think that would definitely help. Anyway, going in towards the uh, Malmody corner. And Sean Coo has regained the lead back from Tompkinson, which we didn't see, but he's doing an awful lot of protecting. He's actually done the move before going in towards the uh, Lake Combs again. Yeah, well, this is just going to help everyone behind, which is what you need at Spa. You can't let all the quick guys get away from you through the infield. So the more they battle together with those times that are half a second higher than everybody else, the more likely everybody else gets to start getting mixed up in the slipstream. Which is where they can battle in the places that they can keep up most likely. Into Poo on. It's a four car train for the lead. And then you've got the three BMW drivers led by Austin. Piper's going a little wide through the first part of Poo He may lose his spot to his TP Milton in the process. But now in towards the final chicane for the first time. It is still Shonka with the lead oh, with Tomkinson. BMW pass by Milton. That would be Milton. Yeah, Milton up to sixth place. Nearly getting his teammate uh, Piper all wrong in the second part of the final chicane. And now getting a lot of pressure from. Oh my goodness. Big Colin Barrow going a different line through where. Uh, Fania too. And now they're going in towards the Pro Freire and then into Blanchemont for the first time. Over 10 cars seem to be uh, quite close together, which is quite nice. Yeah. you got to be careful here early in spots. The easy track to start getting separated because of how strong Slipstream is. So, I mean, if you're in that group that you can see a group ahead of you, you really need to just try not to battle the person that you're fighting if you want to catch up to the group in front. Because as soon as you battle through one of these corners, if they choose not to, they're oh! gone. Oh, Clements has really outbreaked himself there at the bus stop chicane. He's going to lose his t a couple of spots, maybe. And now he's going to fall into the battle with the three BMWs. And he's gone even wide on the exit of the chicane, too. So a massive mistake there for Clements there for his second place. And Carl has gone up into second place while Scooby, uh, Tompkinson, has regained the lead back at the bus stop chicane. And now it's an absolute mess for fourth and back. Three abreast with the three BMWs. Look at this. It's what happens in Spa Cut. It's the, they've, ever since they changed that whole chicane area and slowed that exit down, people do different wheel spin. That camber's terrible over there. Um, and just gives up all sorts of different fighting opportunities to head down into this whole Eau Rouge and uh, Redillion complex. Three car scrap for the lead. It's a six car scrap for the fourth place. And Clements heavily defending that fourth place now from uh, Alex Austin, who's going to go around the outside. And uh, look at Piper. Look at this. They're going to go three abreast it towards the com. Is it going to work? Yes, indeed, it does. Somehow, a little bit of contact between uh, Clements and Piper. But now Austin's through into fourth position. Can he free himself from the battle now with Clements? Is he going to hold them up? Well, the BMWs are just oh, like crows Milton. flocking around them here. Oh my, that was that was close there. Milton and Piper don't give it any inch of room there. Don't forget, they, they are still battling for second place. So maybe no team orders in that camp anyway. But it's Austin leading this huge gargantuan train for fourth place. And now Clements has won their back at Puon. Sean Cool's back in the lead. I do apologize. Cool's back into the lead. Well, the leaders are trying to make a move right here. Tomlinson's going up the uh, inside, but it's going to leave him on the outside here. So this is going to be tough. This is probably going to lose him a position if he doesn't make this stick. But if he makes it stick, that'd be pretty impressive because that'll end up working out well. And they're still battling back behind as well in the exact same lines. Have we lost Do you Savvy by chance? Have we lost me by chance? I don't know who we've lost. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, sorry there. Oh, I had it on mute. What sorry. happened there, Carl? I think maybe I caught lag or something because Carl just went like nine million miles. Oh, I think he just track. crashed into the wall. No, something else happened forever ago through the chicane. I do apologize that I was talking. I forgot to unmute my mic. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might have been. Oh, and Carl's well, left the room. But... 
It looked like some sort of lag. He it must have been brake and, re and left, or he lagged out because this car just drove in a straight line and then like warped across the track. Oh, Over okay then. The wall, like on the other side of the game. Well, hopefully he'll that come back. Crazy. Hopefully he will come back here because you know. Clements who's running third, there he is, he's back in, so that's okay, so it's going to be a no point score, well he's, he's going to score points, but not as much as Cool and uh, Tompkinson side by side through the Kemmel straightaway, that Mazda's so much, got so much, a lot of power on that straightaway. Yeah, plus the slip's going to help it a huge amount, I mean don't give the Honda any uh, slack, that thing's pretty good in a straight line as well. Um, Oh, all sorts of stuff's going oh. off behind. There's a BMW, like, cutting through the chicane. Yeah, I think, that, no, I think that was Piper going <laughs> shortcutting the uh, Lacombe chicane. Well, I wonder if that's going to be looked under the steward's investigation, if he can hold on to that third place. But nearly halfway through this race, cool leads. Tompkins is second. Piper in a questionable third position. Then you got Clements in fourth. Austin fifth. Adam sixth. Sharp in a seventh place. A very good seventh place at that. Milton, who made his pit stop in eighth. And I think Colin Barrow also made a pit stop. He's down there in a ninth position. Only nine runners. Carl lagged out. And I think Thomas Walsh uh, is uh, also Welsh, retired from the race, too. Well, oh, you got well, disconnected. Where they're battling, yeah, where they're battling, it's still real tight. But this is what Spot does. They're going to separate into these little groups, and each group is going to slowly become as far up the field as you can go. Um, there's a couple people who've got some mix-ups because, like, Ben pitted already, and I want to say maybe Colin Barr pitted already, but I don't know that they're even still in the battle after pits are over. Um, it's a pretty short pit if you time it right because you can just pull in the slipstream on someone, and if you don't time it right, well, it takes a long time to get up to speed. Going into us, Blanchemont side by side for third place between Piper and Clements there. Making a stick there now for Blanchemont. Piper getting Three absolutely one. way off the track. And they're going to be two foot, two rows of two abreast then. Here we go into the chicane. Uh, Piper's just a bit of contact. Oh. In fact, Piper's making a pit stop. Well, Piper's coming down in. No matter what. The entrance to pit lane is very, very tight. It's not the best pit lane entrance, to be fair. I'm Blake. not 100% sure that was the angle that he wanted to take towards the pit lane. It may have been more that the contact threw him wide and it was easier oh! to go in the pit lane. Austin there late on the brakes, and I think he tried to get by Adams and Clements there, trying to make two and one at... Um, at La Sauce, but that didn't work, so he's going to tuck back into fifth place. Sharp's making a pit stop. Piper comes out. He may come out just ahead of his teammate, maybe. Yes, indeed, he does. Out goes Sharp, too, in the process. So, Colin Bardo's still back there in that ninth spot. But Colin Bardo will be safe. He's going to be racing in season 10. Meanwhile, Third again, the battle attack. raging on again for third place. Adams blast Clements around Third the outside. Third. And Austin wants a piece of that, too. I mean, where they're battling, they're battling tough. Everyone's trying to get that line and just... They don't care if they get a little bumps or bruises to do it. Tomkinson regains the lead again. So these two have been battling back and forth. I wonder what Cole's going to do here. Is he going to do the same what he did on Cole when I think it was the second race at St. Croix? Is he just going to... When is he guessing when Tomkinson is going to pit? And then maybe force a mistake to get him a win? Uh, I... I'm not 100% sure. I would just, first race, you kind of usually stick to what you already have planned out. You only need to change your strategy if your strategy is not working. Mm. So if your strategy is pit on six, or if your strategy is pit on four, or whatever your strategy was for the first race, you kind of just stick to the, your guns. And sitting in second place means everything's mostly been going right. You still have a chance to win, so I probably wouldn't change anything. And then if it doesn't work out, that's when you start looking at, like, well, maybe I do what they did, or maybe I undercut what they did, or whatever you do. Just looking here at Alex Austin starting to drift away from that battle for third place now, so he may come under a little bit of threat where he may, he may come out between Piper and Milton with the other BMW boys. So, you know, Austin needs to get something right here these last two corners because he is starting to lose a bit of drift and may lose the slipstream with that battle going on for third place. Cools back into the lead now as they go in towards the bus stop chicane. When are they going to make the pit stop? Is it going to be now, or are they going to leave it late? In fact, Cool comes oh. in. Tompkinson stays out. So Cool may be going for the uh, the short, uh, the undercut, really. Uh, that or Tompkinson, because it looked for a second like he was going in with him, and then made the change to run a hot lap without him because he thinks he can run a uh, you know a soft lap faster than he's going to run a super soft lap. 
Um, hindsight, I don't, uh, it depends where uh, Sean comes out. I don't know if it's the perfect decision just because you're giving up a lap of tires. And the soft, super soft probably shouldn't be dead after three if people are switching on to him at five and six. So I think it might not work. I think I've just noticed this here, but Sean actually came in the pits. He did start on the soft tires, made a pit stop, and he's gone onto a fresh set of soft tires. Now the rule states that you had to change tires to super soft. So I think Sean could be in a bit of bother here. Not unless if he's had that glitch where you can't change tires. I'm not too sure. But uh, Cool did definitely did change tires and he stuck the same uh, another set of soft tires. So Sean could be in trouble here. Uh, yeah, I may have. I don't can't 100 percent guarantee that I saw him go in on softs. I thought he was though. Yeah, he so did. He, he did start the race on soft. He did oh, okay. start the race on soft, and he's come out on a new set of soft tires. But I, like I well, said, that will change up the entire battle for the top because it second will. now becomes potentially well, probably still second. We'll see where they come out. But second, third, fourth, all of them kind of potentially have a little bit of a gap here. Plus, wait, have they all? Have, I have lost track of the pit strategies. I know <laughs> has a pit. Tomkinson, uh -huh. it's it's pretty much the top four that have not yet pitted. Okay. Cool's the first that one that has made a pit stop, but he might have to pit again because he hasn't changed the hmm. super softs. Well, yeah, so that changes the entire top four. It will definitely. It will definitely. Ben's going to be able to slip in there. He's not too far from Sean, and Sean is still technically the leader because they haven't pit. So Ben Milton might be right there. Piper's right behind him. So there could still be six cars in the top battle when these pit stops finish at the top. Uh, with super softs, though, I'd probably be starting to think about pit, and I don't know if I'd want to just do a one lap super soft and just try to get these softs live. But they would probably know better. You know, they'd well, probably put the work in to practice it. <clears throat> Tomkinson goes into the pit lane. Now I'm wondering to see if Tomkinson will change to the super softs. Adams looks like he's staying out. Austin comes in. Clement goes in. Now Austin and Clement start on the super softs, so they'll go with the soft tires. Cool has stayed out yet again. So Cool could, Cool's got to be in trouble. Cool's definitely got to be in trouble. For sure. I want to see, oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, no so Tompkinson's changed to the super softs. So he's going to be side by side with Cool, even though Cool might be disqualified here. Uh, let's see well, if Austin... That, I mean, that just effectively would put him into... It's tough to say, it depends on how good a uh, lab Adams gets here, because he was in that battle and stayed out. Yeah. Um, but that puts him technically in first right now. Uh, if that's true, and if not, I mean, if you're Sean, you gotta keep going, because you have no idea what the stewards are gonna do. You can't just, like, assume a steward's position. Like, Save it, go, man. Stewards have their own minds. So... Here we go, then. So this could be effectively a battle for the for the win, but it will have to hand over to Tomkinson if Cool hasn't changed the uh, the ch tire compounds. Anyway, it's again the BMW is battling again, as we've seen pretty much all season. Piper leading that battle. Piper, I think he's actually ahead of Ben by. Oh no, Ben's ahead of uh, Ben um, Adam by just like six points. So I think what's that in points? There, fourth place battle. gives you fifteen. That'll be thirty points. Fifth place gets you 13. So the gap will only be two points between these two drivers heading in towards the penultimate round of the championship. Clements in sixth place. It's not going to be good enough, though, if Clements stays in that sixth spot. I'm really wondering if Tomkinson knows Sean messed up because they were battling like madmen. Oh, they were. Their pit stops. And he's just slipped in the entire time and literally just following him through all these corners, like literally lifting a little bit to just make sure he doesn't make contact or try to like push him or anything. I wonder if he knows, like, we just need to get away from these cars behind us for now. Like, this, I don't really need to battle you anymore because you're already either having a pit again or DQ'd. Although he is giving him the flash of the lights. He's the giving time. the flash of the lights, yeah, definitely. So Rob is going to have to be pitted this time by for sure. But behind, watch the BMW, BMWs, they're going to try some crazy stuff. That's what BMWs do. Oh, Milton leaning on his teammate again. Piper going a different line as he's been there like a couple of times. This time Rob comes into the pit lane, surrenders the lead. And Milton passes Piper uh, going into the bus stop chicane. So that's fourth place and that will improve him. Uh, that would be another four points gained. So the gap would be ten points. 
but uh, Tompkinson will have the lead. In fact, effectively, Milton's in second place and Piper in third. Effectively, with Cool's disqualification, maybe. Oh, well, where will Rob come out, though? Here comes Rob. He's going to come out with this battle with the BMWs. Right in the thick of it, but he's only got one lap to do these set of softs. Now, as far as I know, yeah, and Rob has chased the softs. They have super softs, but they have a little bit of wear. To be realistic, based on times you run, I don't know if they make a huge difference. They seem pretty similar. Like I've said, I don't really know much about the super soft tire. I don't really ever use it, so it's hard to see. <laughs> it's very rarely loose anyway, let's put it that way. Not in the other league that we come into. Again, the Beamers battling side by side. In towards the comes chicane. Piper going oh, offside! Ways! Hold on to it there, Adam. Beamers and catching those. Well, hell for side Piper. Side if they're still battling for the win. Well, I mean, Sean yeah, oh. Backed out, so. Oh, it'd be pretty brutal if somehow he ruined the race for Tompkinson if he is dq I mean, the real close battles are going to be this whole third, which is, I guess, technically second, third, and fourth battle that are coming through Wuhan into the last sections of the uh, infield right now. They're probably going to be the last real hopes of battling. Everyone else is pretty separated, and if the leaders are technically not battling. Oh, Melton, oh! Someone had a big moment through there. And again, McClement sitting second, well, potentially second in the championship. This is going to throw Kyle the championship, I reckon, because I don't think sixth place is going to be good enough to hold on for uh, to, to stay in, in the hunt for the championship. And he could might lose second place in the process I mean, uh, Are we sure first isn't a battle because they're battling their lives away up here and I feel like Oh goodness me, I just hate the way, but again, Tompkinson, he's he's got this race at the back here. He doesn't really need to fight because Sean has made that mistake of putting on start the race on softs and then ended up on softs. So he's gonna be in trouble here. Tompkinson, Adam's it's his first win of the season. I think Ben will probably finish in second place. I think he might have actually. So Ben technically third, Adams fourth, Piper fifth, Clement sixth, Austin will finish in seventh place, eighth place will go to Ash Sharp, but Colin Barrow will finish in ninth place. Oh. And Sorry. I oh, that's okay. But uh, again, in question and doubt is Sean Cool because he did start the race on softs, he did pit and put on a fresh set of soft tires. That's no no. So Baba reckon, and I think that's a DQ on uh, Sean's part. Yeah, I don't know the rules, so I would say they had one heck of a battle. Um, and the steward, it's the steward's job to figure that out, not mine. So, you know, best of luck against the stewards, as always. I always wish you luck against the stewards. But, um, yeah, if it's against the rules, who knows, that's, you know, they're, that's on them to decide how that's handled. I'm going to message him. Watch him. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> Right then, so I think, by my calculations here, uh, I think that's actually given Carl the championship. So I think Carl is the champion. It's 78 points off it. Yeah, so that's confirmation. So congratulations then to Nicholas Carl, the champion for season nine. So it's just anyone's guess now for second place. Now, what do you think of that race then? There was some fair good battles here. So I'll just quickly do some calculations here while you just talk about how that race went. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty much what you'd expect on Spa. As soon as you get in a battle that makes you lose any kind of slipstream, even though it doesn't look like a slipstreaming track, it's tough to catch back up. If Even if everyone else is just battling a little bit, like the amount of time you can gain being in slipstream versus not can definitely be pretty devastating. Uh, the fact that you're battling side by side through these infield sections that just like when you battle side by side going through Puhan, like you go 20 30 miles an hour slower than you do if you're hitting it by yourself or if you're hitting it flat out behind someone or something like that so i think we got to see that it's going to draw people of similar speeds right on top of each other because there's just nothing you can do to get by each other and then you just kind of have to follow to the next chicane to try to pass again but for the, mm -hmm. anyone who's like who can't keep up with that speed of whatever group it may be, or if you get spun or anything that just totally pulls you out of your group, it's tough to get back into them, even if you have pace to get back into them, just because 
you got to work through these groups that are literally separating themselves by 10, 12, 13 seconds. Um, but with that being said, it leads to insane side by side, uh, amazing battling back and forth. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we've seen a race that had that many lead changes between first and second because it's just there's not much you can do to stop. It's just nonstop battling in all of those, and it's fantastic to watch. And absolutely, you know, a great battle at the top, regardless of tire rules or any of that stuff, and then getting to watch third through like seventh battle for seven straight laps. I'm expecting uh, to see two more races of insanity. Oh, we will do. Oh, we will do indeed. Yeah. So we've got two more races to go. The championship is confirmed. Um, so Carl is definitely the championship. The points after this race is that McEwen will still hold second place. He's still on 277. Clements now is on to 254. Ben Milton is now 10 points behind. Uh, and then you got Adam Piper on 230, Sean Cool on 220, but that's also in a bit of vein, with that mistake in the pits. Alex Austin on 176 and Thomas Walsh on 167, but hopefully he will be good enough to race in race two, which is the ball draw, which I have put out a, a number right now, and it is, there's only either seven to, six to 11, and there's 15 in here actually. Let's have a look. Ball 12. Well, there's only 11, so that's, that's a no-go. We have to redo another one. <laughs> we'll have to bring up the race results again, uh, just to show where they all were, actually. Uh, you uh, can tell me the number. I have them right here. Uh, we've missed a couple, actually. Thomas. Thomas. Oh, right, it was Thomas and Nicholas. My bad. Right. Uh, so right here we go. Let's see who will start on the pool. Take two. It will be number eight. Sharp, Ash Sharp will start on the pole position. Mm -hmm. So much needed there for Ash. See what he could do. He did sign glimpses of uh, decent racing with Sharp. Oh yeah, everyone in the. I don't think there's a single person in this lobby who doesn't have decent racing abilities and stuff like that. You know, lap times sometimes are just how much time you put in, but you know, also just how much you know the track, the car. There's so many things that affect lap times, other than just this part than just certain things you know the faster people are gonna be faster across every single car but everyone in here has proven like they can battle they know how to drive you know accelerators on the right brakes on the left go <laughs> we'll just be type in here the, what happens i like the second race it's interesting when just one person gets put up slowing down the lead pack usually it's also going to be interesting seeing like Carl starting from the back of the field and stuff like that as well. Um, well this race, because usually you don't see that until the very end, so he's going to have to try to do it twice now. Well, and I mean, it's a to tough be... track. Oh yeah, it definitely is a tough track. But I mean, it makes no odds now to to Carl. He's the champion, so this is just going to be pretty much an end of season bash here now. Um, but again, it's still the battle for second place is on offer here. Um, so how many points is there again yet again a hundred points is left on the table for these drivers so the gap so i think austin is now relatively out of the hunt for second um so it's yeah and i think sean Koo with that dia disqualified there so his points might be taken away so it's going to be a battle between McEwen, clements milton and piper for the uh for second place now I mean, hey, we said before it started it was going to be a battle. We didn't know what all was going to happen to make it happen, but I mean, there's a lot of people battling, and there's tons of people out there who, you know, might not even be racing for positions, but, like, who starts a race and goes, I think I'll just stay at the back, guys. <laughs> I mean, I can get it. You know, you might just be like, I'm going to keep it safe and clean, but at the same time... I mean, this is BTCC. If it was any kind of other league, I might say, like, just stay at the back and keep it clean then. But I, whatever, just throw your car in there and see what ends up. I'd race for the win, regardless of whether I'd already locked up a championship or couldn't get the next position. Uh, you can always screenshot wins. Oh, so it could have been just the pit bug by the way uh possibly i'll just i'll just say to him hopefully save your replay because on mask because on my screen it did say softs 
uh, hey, I'm always up for anyone who's battling the stewards, so I'll lie for you, man. You just come to me, I'll say I saw Super <laughs> And no, I will not save my replay. And then, yeah, oh, Piper's there too. <laughs> As you see now, he's just, you know, instigating this uh, whole thing. But yeah, hopefully for 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 uh, for, um, for cool, save the replay just to just to clarify because on my screen it, it said that he started on softs and he and he finished the race on softs, but you know, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I noticed nothing, and I do not agree or disagree with any of these statements except for <laughs> bitches. I do agree with that one. <laughs> so here we go. Then we're getting ready for the second race. The penultimate round of the championship and hopefully Thomas Walsh will get the car going again. Fingers crossed that he will get going and hopefully he will clear his cash. But anyway, sharp on the ball for the penultimate round. The winner from race one, uh, Tompkinson, Cool, Milton, uh, Adams, Piper, Clements, Austin. Um, who was that further back? I, uh, blah, 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 blah. Colin Barrow, Carl and Walsh. As the lights go up for the penultimate round of the championship. Again, it's another long halt, this, isn't it? There we go, mm -hmm. underway. And Walsh is moving, but Carl's sort of not got going. Terrible start there for Nicholas Carl, but he won't matter. Champion anyways. We're going into a tail one for the first time. Sharp holds the inside line, but he's going to lose the lead to Tompkinson. Again, Piper running extremely wide. He's probably going off towards France. But anyways, leading the way is Tompkinson, followed by Sharp. And then third place is Milton, followed by Cool. They're going to be free of breast. They are going to go forward of breast. This is going to end in tears, people. Back off yeah, somehow. Back out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Although touring well, car well, drivers do not know how to back out, let's be fair. We saw how they nearly went six abreast going in towards uh, Alsace, the, the chicane. That, that memorable moment anyway. But I'm anyway, but impressed that they didn't keep the four wide there. <laughs> Look at, at Sharp! Wide. Look at Sharp trying to hang it out around the outside there. That's a brave move, but unfortunately it didn't make it stick. So Tompkinson still holds the lead. Sharp will still stay in second place. Piper has moved up and down into fourth position. Cool in the fifth. Adams has gone very slow. He made a mistake there through uh, Malmody. Now turning towards Rivage for the first time. Nicholas is after after that dreadful start has already up a couple of spots to champion in season nine. Trying to make his way by Adams through no name and he's up into eighth place. Thomas Welsh starting dead last. Nice to see him back racing again. He's already gained four spots as a result. So solid effort that from uh, Thomas Walsh. But it looks like the old single file, no real end about. Over here comes Milton to the in outside of Sharp. Now he's going to go to the inside. Sharp's just about to hold it off there. It's a tough section to make passes because it's really you got to get the inside of not this whole section, but you got to set it up to get this inside. So you need to be playing like four corners ahead if you're going to start the pass there. It just doesn't matter. They're going to keep it alongside you until you get to that corner. Sharp and made set it up perfect. There. Sh yeah, Sharp made a mistake there at Stavlo 2. He's going to possibly lose that second spot and maybe more. No, that Alexis has got some good horsepower on the straightaway. No, it's only that second place. But already, Tompkinson is already checked out. Nearly two and a half seconds he's got over this battle for fair play, second place. And Milton, in fact, Piper's got into third place now. Milton down to fourth. Cool still in that fifth, fifth place. And Thomas Welsh trying to have a look around the outside. And Clemens going in towards the bus stop. Shaquille. Piper's got to go for second now. And he's got it. In fact, Sharp's going in. Oh! oh! And there goes Cool. Making contact with Austin yet again. <coughs> no, Austin with um, Milton. Milton. And that was the incident again at Interlagos in race two. I mean, it looked like Ben was going in the pits and then decided, oh, everyone's going in, I'm going to stay out. And someone who was coming in really fast did not have the ability oh, to start Oh my goodness me. That. He, f he wasn't even committed. It was, it, was like a, it was like a late attempt to go to make a pit stop. So Yeah, cool. or maybe they saw that, oh, everyone's pitting, maybe I should just jump in and, you know, contact was made. Yeah, I mean, Cool didn't take a good line through yeah, the bus stop. He sh to, to be fair, he should have just done another lap and then just went into the pits then. But uh, another, again, another mistake there from Sean Cool. And uh, the two-time winner this season not having a great spa, it's fair to be said. Anyways, back up front. Tompkinson looks like he's going to be on course to get back-to-back -back wins here. 
Piper in second. And then you've got Clements, who's fighting for that second spot in the championship. He's got to find another 23 points. If he can get ahead of McEwen and maybe solidify that second spot. But it's all down to where Milton and Piper's going to be after that battle there. Piper running a little wide through no name. Thomas Walsh already up in fourth place from starting dead last. Oh, that's an impressive climb, especially considering other people started at the back are still somewhat stuck at the back. Um, Thomas has been just flying through everything here. Oh, Colin Bardo on and ride through Puon. You don't want to get your tyres on the AstroTurf because it will upset the car a little bit. So he's lost that sixth place there to, uh, to, to Milton. And I think Milton... Yeah, Milton was the one that went into the pits, didn't he? Well, he actually oh. stayed out. He, like we said, I think it looked like he was going to try to go in the pits, then changed his mind, and that's where the contact may have happened. Um, maybe he was just faking a pit, or maybe he was just a wide run. Um, but I'm pretty sure his strategy maybe changed by getting spun, but I don't know how big a difference it's going to make. He needs to just get hot lap after hot lap after hot lap right now, I guess, because like, all you can really do is just hope that everyone battles and you can close it down. Like, first is checked out. Oh, definitely. Just noticing again, looking at Colin Bardo making another mistake at the Fanius again a couple of quarters ago, so he's lost a lot of ground to Milton. I think Milton was actually going to be pitted on the first lap. Let's see if he pits in this time. No, he's going to stay out. Okay, so his strategy may have changed again. Little sideways there as Piper makes his pit stop. And in goes Colin Bardo in the background too. So like you says again, Tomkinson has checked out nearly four seconds he has over Clements now into second place. Walsh in third, then it's Milton, who I think well, you have... Spa usually leads to, if you make any kind of mistake though, it's going to cost you three or four seconds. Um, so, you know, you make a mistake, you know, coming out of Puhan, like those are huge mistakes usually. So if he does make any mistake, the, the lead's just going to get bigger and bigger because he has no one to battle, but... Sometimes being out there by yourself is the easiest way to get on some of these auto spin curves, and Spa has plenty of curves that'll just send you for a loop. Riding on board with uh, Rob Adams making his way through Radion and now on towards the Kebble Street, and he's going to get a good tool from Austin. Will he make a move to the inside, going towards the uh, Lake Home Chicane? And again, this is where Sean's going to go defensive, Co had a run. And uh, nearly gets it to the back of Alex Austin. This Adams and now cut Carl and Cool side by side. Sharp looks like he made a little mistake off of Coombe and then into Malmedy. He's going to fall into the clutches of Cool. Well, this battle now for seventh place. So we're going to have ourselves a five car scrap now for the sixth place. Led by Sharp, who's running a little wide there through Ravage. Now into what's no name, and he's going to try and defend that seventh place unless Cool gets. Cool was trying to go for the inside, trying to do the cost back. That didn't work. And again, Carl trying to find a look on the inside of Puon. That's a brave pass. <laughs> oh! Oh, Cool's got oh. a little wide sideways there with Austin there. He clipped the Astro. Goodness me, it's yeah, all there's happening no way here. To get back on the track. Once you hit that Astro, you can't get back over. Through into seventh place now goes Nicholas. I did say to him in the Facebook message there on uh, last week, get your elbows out, you know. You're the champion, you know? I mean, there you are. Get your elbows out. Get a bit aggressive, and that's what he's doing. Pushing cool out the way at Puom. Yeah, for sure. It's easy to run hot laps by yourself every race, but, you know, sometimes you got to move people oh! out of your way. Again, sharp hitting the Astral Turf, and now they're going to go free abreast for sick place. I it's love, a this is like not this. good. Just cool. bullying his way through as best he can. Cool's just gained two spots as a result of that. My oh my, good, great scrap going on for sixth place. And listen, a little bit of rubbing, but still good, clean, fair bit of racing. These are all me pit stop. Look at Austin. Big contact there from, uh, from Austin on, on uh, Sharp. Oh, and Carl looks like he's slowing. Carl looks like he's slowing. And Adams it's, is possibly getting three spots. That's a good move. Yeah, that... It just doesn't seem like he can get the acceleration, the traction down to really get out of some of these corners. But he's diving it anyway. He might be able to just beat him on slipstream. I'll tell you what, that oh, this is going to be a huge battle. How many cars is this about to be? Oh, this is going to be big. Here comes Milton. He comes out. And then Sharp just goes ahead. Nearly gets on the grass there. There's uh, Adams. And is he going to go through Eau Rouge? Yes, indeed he does. He holds. He gets that seventh place. Can't believe he backed out. Yeah, he should have he braved out then, like... I was tipping, that it's was, just that a was, tough that was... place. Now you're trying to get the slipstream to pull you back. Um, 
I mean, it works out, he stays in it, but that's how sometimes they can just get away from you and you can lose slip. Here comes Rob, he's gonna pass Sharp, so up into sixth place, so VXR now fifth and sixth. But up front, though, it's a high and die one, two, was there still, uh... Tom has just Tom knifed Kitson. his way through everyone. He's still battling for second, but, um, just impressive. Like, it was the second, third lap, oh. and he's already moved way up. Clements, Clements has got back. back at him. Yeah, Clements has got back. I think the top three have yet to make a pit stop. But his Piper in fourth place has made a pit stop, but he's, he's pretty much racing by himself, really, for now. And Cool trying to catch up to uh, Piper, but makes a little mistake there. Free pull on one's very wide. May fall into the hands of his teammate uh, Adams in the process. And then you've got this bad battle going on for seven places. Go trying to find a ray around the Lexus around the outside at Lecom. Uh, sorry, that's. Um, I forgot what that corner Back is now. Field. Yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Milton down yeah, to 10 places. Oh, oh, Carl in the gravel with Stavolo 1. That's fine. Evos have no problem being out there in the dirt <laughs> rally. <laughs> like, I played dirt rally. They're fine out there. Pretty much in its comfort zone, isn't it? Anyway, Milton's going to have a look on the inside. Clement is going in as well, so he's going to use his pit. So one of the top three has finally stepped in. Now it is a high and die, a on high and die one two with Tomkinson and Walsh. But I wonder where this will come out with Clements. Well, will he's he come show out ahead of The leaders are going to come out as well. Cow again, not being too happy with the amount of aggression that's been shown. But I mean, Cow's a champion. So Piper goes into third place. Carl was now down to 11th place. I so, wonder what's happened. Oh, he may have, because he may have typed something. He did type something in and he wasn't too happy. Maybe that was uh, why. Um, I'm interested to see where Piper ends up being with the other two having not pit yet. Um, it's like what, 18 seconds. I don't know how long the pit stops are taking, but it's probably going to leave him about third. I don't know if it's going to, I don't know if it's fast enough. Maybe second. It could be second place, actually, because. I did see the gap with uh, Piper to Clements was about 11 seconds, and the gap, well, he's like, you can see he's gone ahead, so about 13 seconds, roughly, I would, I want to say. So when Walsh, where, when Walsh will make his pit stop, I think Piper will regain that second spot. He's not going to catch Tompkins in the yeah. process. Tompkins is long well, gone. Looking at Piper's time, you can do the math. It looks like it's about 11 point. Yeah, but 11 seconds for a pit stop, so it should be right on Thomas. So the top two have stayed out. Third on back have now made a pit stop. Sharp now down to eighth place, making Poo on a little wide. Milton went a different line through there. And looks like this is going to destroy Milton's chance of finishing second place. It's going to allow the Piper and Clements maybe a two-horse battle for that second spot now. Because uh, with uh, Milton not being up there, not showing at the top eight, and Piper may have been d would from the first race. But again, it's up to the stewards to see that. So effectively, it could be a battle for second place between Clements Talking and Piper going, going in the in. final round. Yes, Thomas it's... is going in too. And he is. Yeah, indeed he is. So everyone has now made their pit stop. Now, will Tompkinson change tyres? Will Thomas will change tyres? Let's see if they do. Meanwhile, Piper would just come out of the chicane and start another lap. We've got two more laps to go. Piper in the lead out. Well, yeah, you can see there that uh, Tompkinson has gone on to the super soft. Hey, now, where's Thomas? Where's Thomas? Where's Thomas going to come out? ahead of Thomas. Thomas will come out in third or fourth, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he will, and Barely he's chasing the super softs. But he's not got any kind of momentum. He needs slip to help even pull him back up into second. But Clemens backed out and just followed him. They're going to lose so much time, maybe? We'll see. We will, it we looks will like Piper his... messed up, though, because that gap isn't closing as fast as... Yeah, it's barely gaining. It should be... Uh... It looks like it should have been going faster than that. 
Oh, look at the run Sean is getting on both the Mitsubishi and the Hyundai right ahead of him. So we've got a battle for the bottom step of the podium. This time Sean has changed to the super top tier, as I can see on the screen. Oh, yeah, double slipstreams when the cars start to go side by side and you move out of one and into the other in this game can just, like, really keep your speeds way up. And if you can control it, you go real fast to catch up on people. In through no name for the penultimate time in this race two, Adams in sixth, one and a half seconds back dead, and then you got Austin and then Ben Milton in eighth. I'm thinking if Nicholas Carl has gone up into ninth place, let's find out. No, he's not. It's four and a half seconds off of Sharp, but Sharp, uh, Sharp is still in that ninth place, and Carl in tenth. But therefore, if Carl's going to stay in the final race, he's going to start second. Maybe the champion will stamp his authority on what a season it has been, though, for Nicholas Carl. Oh, uh, that's what I would expect, but they're oh. still battling for the second race, so we're not quite there yet. Thomas has pulled away now. Thomas has actually pulled away from Clements. Is he actually catching up on Piper? He's gained at least half a second on him. Well, I mean, he knifed through the entire pack once in two laps. I wouldn't be too surprised to see him be able to catch up one person, right? Because he technically came out in third. So, uh, he's been very consistent. His times have been good. So, we'll see what he does when he doesn't get to kind of abuse. It's not technically traffic, but he's basically abusing traffic to those first two laps. So, if he can just straight hot lap it to catch this back up and make the pass. And I tell you what, this will be a great drive as well for Thomas, even though he didn't, you know, he got thingied out from the first race. But, I mean, starting in last place to end up potentially finishing on the podium, that is quite an effort, that, from Thomas. Yeah, I mean, start last so you can get to the top, so the next race you can start last again. I think that will pretty much solidify that team to finish third place in the uh, the team's championship, at least, with, with uh, Tompkinson leading the way again, and definitely on course to get back-to-back -back wins. It's, it's going to be close here for second place because Thomas is still catching up on Adam. 1.2 is doable, but I mean, I'm sure getting it done with a pass is going to be tough. You just have to throw it in there and see what you can get done. Sean's, you know, similar. Sean's They're all just like, bare, everyone's just barely out of slipstream in a lot of spots. And those people who are just barely out of slipstream, it's tough to make up a lap without any slip so like you've got to close the gap through this infield if you come around to start section three and you're not in slipstream it's beyond over like you need to be in slipstream on top of them trying to get ready to get a move done because there's just not enough time to do that through this infield you just need to catch it up and go it's actually caught within at least uh, about three temps on thomas there so thomas may have to look on his mirror to see sean fastly catch it up in that mazda He's bringing Clements with him, but don't forget Piper and Clements. Oh, Pi oh, Clements running very wide at Buon. He doesn't want to lose another that. spot to Adams. What is that? He lost about two temps. About two temps, oh, well, I think. There, up. roughly yeah. about two temps. Sean is really on a mission here. He's definitely catching up to, well, to they Thomas. they are closing up. Oh, he's going to be just out of the slip. It looks like he needs to have a better exit than this BMW. Because he needs one tenth of a second. I don't think he's going to be able to catch him before the chicane. He needs Piper to make a mistake in breaking or something, I think. It's it's going to be make or break. We went into a chicane, and but anyways. Sean's in the exact same position. He needs them both to make a breaking mistake because they're just so far back. Lunges aren't even realistic at this range. Nah, I don't think so, no. But anyway, coming through to get his second win of the season. Tompkinson wins yet again. Who's going to get second place? It is going to be Adam Piper. Then Thomas Wells. Still a great drift for that from Thomas from last to finish third on the fi in the race. Sean Coe will finish fourth. Clements in fifth. Adams will get across the line in sixth. And Ben Milton passed to Alex Austin at the last lap to finish in ninth place. And there's sideways there between Sharp and Nicholas Carl. But Sharp's just going to hold on to that ninth place. And Nicholas Carl will get tenth. And Colin Barrow will come across the line. A couple of mistakes mid-race. And he will finish in eleventh place. And that is race two. So what do you think of that then? Uh, I mean, it was a great race, right? Um, a lot yeah. closer in the battles and everything, and they went through there. I think Thomas had just, I mean, that's a fantastic race. Just battling straight from the back all the way back through, not letting any of that first race stick with you. That's just, you know, fantastic drive from him. Um, I'm sure Tompkinson was just elated with the fact that 
you know, like I like we were talking about after the first race, that these are going to fall into groups of people. They're going to start battling somewhere that separates them. And the battle started at second for whatever reason, so he got to just drive away from the whole field. And so I'm sure he was elated that the first battle wasn't first to third or first to fourth or anything like that, but was just him running hot laps, trying not to spin. So, you know, and that's tough to do. I think everyone has ever raced has definitely been in first place by themselves by six seconds and then just slammed into a wall for no reason. So, I mean, props to him to just keep it all together. But everyone else was just battling for their lives, it looked like. Indeed, indeed. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, there was my cup of phlegm in my throat there. I've already done how the championship would probably look. So I'm, I'm not doing Carl because we know he's champion elect. It's going to be very close now for second place. There's only 16 points separating four drivers. Clements is still. Clements has now moved into second place in the championship. He's on 280. The absent McEwen still on 277. Adam Piper now on 270. And he's actually gone ahead of his teammate Ben Milton, who sits on 264. Sean Koo, I've got here on 250. But again, like I said, the first race could be in doubt there. But uh, if 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 that if he was okay there for that to happen, then it's it's really five drivers between 30 points going in towards the final round of the championship. So so Clements is leading the way, then McEwen, Piper, and then Milton. It's really them one. There's only 16 points separating them. Who do you think will get second then as we head into the final ground, the reverse grid order? Well, and that's assuming Sean doesn't get a penalty, right? Um, yeah. Probably Sean. I don't know why I'd bet against him. He's taking dubs. Assuming he clicked right on his super softs and the game just did things that the game does and just gave him softs. Um, I mean, that's for the stewards to figure out, but I can't imagine, like, that's already a big penalty. You wanted super softs and you got softs, so that's pretty screwed in itself. So as long as he's, if we assume he's not getting a penalty because he didn't do it wrong, uh, yeah, I would definitely say it's, yeah, it has to be, right? He's extremely quick and consistent. But when it all comes down to one race, this and on Spa we showed, man, you get sideways, you get off, and you lose, you know, everything, it you just not have time to make it all back. You got to keep it clean for those seven laps. It's, well, cleanish. <laughs> you can't lose too much time. <clears throat> not not a lot of time because I think De well definitely Ben did after making well, contact with Sean. Sure. Well, in regards to what happened with Cool when he made contact with um, Milton, he may get a penalty because he did pick up a five-second penalty, Cool did, when he made contact with Milton at Interlago. So, again, that could play a factor into it. So, I'm going to rule Cool out of this. It's going to be really between Clements and Piper. I don't think... Um, I think Ben's sort of been struggling all season with the BMW. Piper has got a little bit better than Milton has. But, uh, I think... If I, I don't know. It's it is it is only going to be between Clements and Milton. There's only ten points separating them. But if I'm a betting man, hmm, I wanna I wanna say I wanna say Clements because I think he's he's more of a gentlemanly driver. Whereas Adam, uh, whereas Piper, he's the type of guy that think having an F in an exam means fabulous. Like he's just, no, <laughs> you know, he's 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 not the bright spark, you know. Um, but no, I, I definitely think that Clements might take second place, I think. Because he, cause he deserves it. Because he's been a stalwart for this championship now for many seasons. And his dream, his, you know, his, his hopes for this season was to get a podium. Completely dashed out after the first race. He's been, he's been a completely different driver. So, yeah, I, I'd say my pick is Clements. Oh, I mean, if his hopes was to get a podium and then he ends up getting second in the entire championship, that's beyond impressive right like just wanting to compete mm. in one race versus literally taking second in the entire thing uh if his goal is to get a podium in the whole league well i mean he's got the chance to do it it's literally what you raced for oh he's had like, he's had many podium finishes this right season in front of you. yeah so it's like you know if your goal is to get that podium it's literally why we're here it's the last race and you get to decide whether you get it or not it's just up to, you know, he, he basically... So, <clears throat> but my calculations... If if Piper was to win this last race, I think Clements will have to finish second 
for him to guarantee second place. It will come down to most second place finishes, which I, I don't know if Clements actually has. I know Piper, we just seen him get that second place. So maybe um, Clements needs to really finish ahead of Piper here. I mean, if Piper finishes second and Clements is there, that's still good enough for Clements to win second place. So it's 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 gonna come all down to the wire here in seven laps again, another seven laps for the final round. It's certainly gonna be interesting. That it is. Um, and then it's a reverse grid, so that's gonna play into it. I mean, I don't know. We could sit here and guess at it forever, but it looks like they're about ready to uh, just figure it out, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm more excited to see what they do out there than to. You know, because we've seen their times. If you just want to say who's going to run the hottest lap, the fastest lap, whatever, well, that's an easy thing to guess. But, I mean, there's been plenty of times proven that running a fast lap doesn't necessarily get you anywhere in the race. Like, first and last averages out worse than someone who's constantly getting fourth, right? So, I will see what they do. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch, I think. Just who's going to win the last race of the... Uh, BTCC here. Oh, who do you think? Who do I think? Ooh. I, I would. <clears throat> I would like to see Thomas win it. I think he had a great second race um, after the dis disappointment, you know, with the pit glitch and then stopped at the start. I want to see Thomas win it. I think he deserves one. Excellent. Um, I, I will. It might unlikely be the case, but I, I, would, I would love to see that happening because he's had a, he's had a bit of a, t a tough, uh, uh, well, a tough uh, day. But obviously, like I said, with the pit glitch. But he's just one of those drivers that's got better to better as the season went on. Excellent. I mean, so, yeah, that's. I mean, he almost did it last race, starting at the back, going all the way up, and now he has started what about one position higher? Might be all he needs. He's going to start ninth place, by my reckoning. Because he finished third and there's only 11, so it will be it will be Colin Bardo that will start on the pole, wouldn't it? Yeah, Colin Bardo will start on the pole. Then, it, oh, well, wait a minute, we, we forgot Nicholas Carl because he's going to start second. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thomas is not going to win. Here we go, we're just waiting for Austin to enter, maybe taking a little bit of a pee break, and then we're going to get the final round of the championship underway. I know you've only been here for this will be like your fourth meeting, but... Well, in fact, we'll, we'll talk about what will be your favourite meeting uh, when, after this race, when, uh, well, when the championship's all said and done. But we're going to get the final race underway, race 18 of 18, the finale of Season 9 of the SBR BTCC with BTCC Blueprints and Paul Walsh. Here is the starting lineup for the final time this season. It is Colin Bartle, Cole, Sharp, Austin, Milton, Adams, Clements, Gould, Walsh, Piper, Tomkinson. Perfect. <laughs> Here we go then. Last time, red lights are on. They do take so much long, these red lights. All the engines are rising and lights out and away we go. Good start looks like there from Colin Bardo with the post and the car didn't get a good jump though. So Colin Bardo will have an absolute perfect line going into his turn one. Doesn't really need to defend his position there because... Oh, Carl scrapes the wall off Lasalle's. That was a mistake there, very rare mistake. Adam's running right again. He's going towards France like Piper did on the first lap. But a good start there for Colin Bardo, late not only by a second. Oh, I think the uh, Mitsubishis don't get real good starts because that's a few races in a row he's gotten a bad start. And it seems like most of the Mitsubishis fall back before they have to battle back up off the go. So that might just be a Mitsubishi thing on the rolling or the standing starts. Sharp trying to get by Nicholas Carl around the outside on the Kemble straightaway. The power of the Lexus will easily get by. And he's going to try and defend that second spot. And indeed he does. Sharp again, second place. Don't forget these two had their differences. What's Ben doing? Ben's having a different line through there. He's got to lose a lot of spots because of that. He can't shortcut his way around there. Yeah, he's definitely got to give up some spots there as a result. So fair play to Ben for doing that. More importantly, though, Clements is ahead of Piper. So that's good enough for Clements to get second place in the championship. Sean Cole doing a little bit wide off of Malmody for the first time in the final race. But it is still sharp holding on that second place. And Cole in third. 
Then it is Adams in fourth. Milton down to fifth. Piper's now gone ahead of Clements, but it's not good enough for Clements to uh, Piper to get second place. Well, Colin Barr is still pulling it down in lead and has actually been pulling it he's, up a little he's, bit. He's uh, pulling it away, isn't he? It's nearly two seconds. Uh, let's just keep battling for second, everybody. Keep slowing everyone down. Don't let anyone by. And because once Carl gets by, that time's going to start falling down most likely. It, he's it, just too quick. If they yeah. Let Oh, Adams having a look on the inside of Stavolo 2 on Carl. So, yeah, 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 and Adams has gone oh, through. I like it. So, Carl's down to fourth place. Bit of contact oh, there. Oh, Carl fought back. I love it. Yes, that's what you want to see, Nicholas. <laughs> Come on, get some fight in you, man. You're the champion. <laughs> but, I mean, there's just nothing he can do here. This Mitsubishi has no top end. Like, he's just everyone's eating him up on the straights. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, they're going to go free abreast into the bus stop. Shakir, this is not going to end well. Free abreast. Three into one will definitely not yeah. go. Sharp Keep got a little sideways. It. Milton's in the pit lane. Mr. Cohn, everybody's going into the pit lane. No, Colin Barrow. It's Don't a VXR one and two now. Look at that. Colin Barrow leads the way. Then it's Adams. Sharp holding on the third place. And Clements side by side with Piper. And Cook gets held up there at last source. We made a bit of contact with Austin behind on the, fair, on the second lap. But Colin Barra was shot in the way. Nearly three seconds he has over Adams. Yeah, we'll see what uh, it looks like once everybody starts to separate out. It definitely looked like a lot of people may have jumped in the pits to actually separate themselves. Because the entire bottom group all took pits first lap and just got themselves in their own little group where they can race over here and not have to worry about battling these people until after the pits. It's probably a genius idea because they're all going to pit probably later and you probably won't have to, they'll mess each other up enough that you'll just pass them without ever having to actually pass them. Tunkerson having a look on the inside of Carl Venn going in towards the Lacum Chicane and through into 10th place now goes... Yeah, and again, Carl, Carl has been really been absolutely bullied in this race here. Like, in, in, in this meeting, he's been pushed left, right, and center. He's got to be so fuming there. But, I mean, like I said, he's the champion. Expect to see a lot of that in the tuna cars, but probably not as much there, like. I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably guessing Nicholas is not going to compete in Season 10, like. But uh, the champion is, is really having a hard time with these other races here. Uh, yeah, I mean... would I mean, I would never race the... Ch like, once someone's, like, locked on a championship, like... Why wouldn't you race with everything you got, right? And then, I don't know. Who knows? People might have bad blood if he was saying stuff in uh, any kind of chats or anything like that. They might just be like, you know, throwing their cars around just to say, like, you know, we're here too. But either way, I mean, it's more. It's going to be more than that. That Mitsubishi, you can watch it in these straight lines. Like, it needs slipstream, and as soon as it gets that uh, side draft, it just loses all momentum on cars. Mm. Like, it doesn't have enough any kind of power, it seems like, in these straight lines to overcome a lot of these drafting issues. Because once you get side by side with another car, that's going to actually start to slow you back down because the air's not going to be going. It's going to be pushing you sideways, right? With that side draft off of Oh, late on the brakes. They're going in towards the bus stop chicane. And Sharp's going into the pits. Cool's going into the pits. So more cars in, in the building. But it's still Colin Barlow. But the gap is shrinking. Nearly less than one and a half seconds. So Rob has gained at least, well, 1.5 seconds on Colin Barlow. Clements into third. Piper fourth. Thomas Welsh into fifth now. And then into sixth goes Alex Austin. And then Ben, who was the first to make the pit stop in seventh. But also Sharp and Cool are coming out of the pits, so they're gonna have their battle. And it Whoa. looks like yet yeah, Carl and Milton have gone ahead. And what's happened Whoa. to Tompkinson? Tompkinson has made a terrible stop. Huh, He's I fallen did not know way that. out of that battle there. So Tompkinson's not gonna go for the hat trick. Well, so I like where Adams is sitting at. Adams is in a great spot right here because he's actually quite a bit faster than Colin Barrow, even though I hope Colin Barrow is able to hold him back for the next four laps. But since everyone else is battling and he actually was snuck into this group up here, he's kind of gotten pretty clean air on two straight laps before he's done any pitting, so I, he might just be able to run away with this if everyone else is actually thinking they're on the... Because if you're sitting in a lot of these positions, you might think like you're in first place, right? Like you're in the first place battle still. But he mm. might be sneakily like flying away from everyone. 
Bit of sparks flying there for your new Sorry. Well, if he can just get ahead of Kalambaru, like, they might not realize how, what his pace is looking like, because everyone else's pace is quite slow compared yeah. to him. Yeah, Colin Bartle's last lap was a 2 2 8 4 3 6, and he's made a little mistake through uh, like, uh, the Fanya Chicane there, so he's going to lose a bit more time. Carl was set the fast lap. He's nearly two seconds a lap quicker than Colin Bartle the last lap, so we may see a bit of a lead change here. Colin Bartle has not won a BTCC race yet. I don't know if Rob has. I mean, I wouldn't be commentating this since season nine. Um, but I haven't looked at the other previous seasons before yet. But I know there was one moment that Colin Bartle did have a great shot of winning the race before getting punted off on the last corner on the last lap. And here comes Adams all over the back of his teammate. Will we see a lead change or will it be contempt just to help Colin Bartle get his very first win in touring cars? Uh, Colin Bartle isn't far enough ahead to do that. That's like the problem is, is Colin Bartle is also running 28 on a flat lap. And everybody else He's is in. running 28s on like just look at anybody's car look how beat up all these cars are versus so no he's probably gonna fall back and need yeah he needs to pit and get into this battle and just try to start you know keep it up because yeah that pace is probably not gonna hold up for another lap or two oh but adams what? clipped that same thing carl did that did turn he? one uh barrier uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's us let's ride on board then with him let's see if he clipped the wall oh yeah Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, that was a pretty good clip. Yeah. Still don't think he lost Thomas any time. Thomas is in a real good position as well, actually, looking back at that. So is Clemens. Clemens is in a great position, especially if he's trying to sure up that podium position, even that second place. You can't be sitting better than where he is right now. Oh, here comes Thomas Walsh. Other he's going to have a look to the inside Adam. of Clemens, and he's going to have that second place. So will he? Yes, indeed, he does. Clemens backed out of it. So now Walsh into that second spot. And Clements down to third. And Austin in the background in fourth. Colin Bartle's come out in fifth. He's actually ahead of Nicholas Carl, but the gap is one and a half seconds. Bit of sparks fly there if he hits off Malmedine. Oh, that's not a bad place for him to come out there. Uh, that's probably right about where he can battle and try to hold up. Because, you know, he could definitely still hold on to possibly sixth or seventh position there. Now when we go and look at the, at the rear view camera of Thomas Walsh here with Chris Clements right behind him. High and high dive versus Mitsubishi. Accent of Puon and now in towards the finish again. Thomas looks like he's running a little wide there. Mr. Apex through the first part. That's going to allow Chris to get gain a little bit more time on him. And now he's thinking about making a pass on the outside to Stavolo. Not going to do it there. Cuts back in, tucked up again into the slipstream, putting a couple of wheels on the astral turf to Thomas. And now on towards the pole Fred a bit and then into Blanchemont. And that Mitsubishi looks quite quick in the slipstream. Well, we'll see if he can make it hold and move, but he's gonna, yep. As soon as he comes out of the slip, that car just, I mean, he's already three miles an hour slower than the Lexus and he was in slipstream. That's insane. But once he gets back in, it pulls him right back up, right? Like, it slips great, but as soon as he gets out, he's just not keeping... Yeah, it just struggles. So it just, yeah, it just struggles there. And I'm I mean, he came out of slipstream at 138, and Alexis was pulling him at 141. Right on the board now with Nicholas Carr, who's going to make it inside to Colin Barrow with the bust of Shakira. That's fifth place gained now for the champion. So Colin Barrow now down into sixth position, but we've just noticed that Clements and Adams are making their pit stops. I think Adams will come out ahead of this battle. So now Thomas Walsh is now into the lead of the race. Austin in second. It's just a case of where Adams is going to come out of. He's just going to come right. out ahead of Carl. And I think, where's Clements though? Where is Clements? Because again, the battle for second is on here. And Piper's ahead. So Piper's sitting in seventh place. How, how many points is that? That is ten points. Nine points is for eighth place. So it's not enough for Adam to get second place in the championship. He's got to get by Milton, who's sitting in sixth place, and he got Colin Barrow, then Nicholas Cole, in that fourth pot, in that fourth spot, sorry. In fact, Colin Barrow's having to go back on the champion. He's going to go around the outside here. Can he do it? Oh, he's going to run a little wide. No, he's not going to hold on to it, though. So, Cal stays in that fourth place. Colin Barrow holds to fifth. Top two have stayed out. Walsh and well, then Austin. Milton's Who's that gone wide? That's cool. <clears throat> Sean Cool went very wide off of Malmody. What happened there? So right on board with Clements. In fact, he was down to ninth place. Oh, was there contact through there? 
Oh, in fact, Shaman's giving him loads of room and then just maybe give him too much room. And then off into the kitty litter did Sean, was share Sean. Well, Milton's making a move on Columbaro right now, so he's, he's got moved it. on up into fifth. Yeah, he's up to fifth place, so Columbaro slowly, methodically moving his way down. And Piper's going to have a look at the fan, yeah? Clement's holding on to that eighth place, though. Only barely, though, because Sean is fighting there. Oh, it's, it's going to be very, very close for the second place. Colorado took a bit too much care there on Stavolo too. Well, it's I mean, there's a little Piper bit of momentum. He actually did a really good job of keeping his speed up there. So, but as it stands, then, as we're coming up towards the penultimate lap of Season 9, Thomas Welsh leads the way, Austin second, and then... It's third place on back that has made a pit stop. Adam still leads the way. Then Carl. Then it's Ben Milton. Followed by Colin Barrow. Under a lot of pressure there from Adam Piper. As Thomas makes his pit stop. Sean Cool now into eighth place. Chris Clements in ninth. Sharp is in tenth. And Scooby Tompkinson, who made that very long pit stop, is already oh, still down in eleventh place. It's a rough race. This happened. Meanwhile, his teammate is into the pit lane. And I think that's now Austin, the only one to have yet to make a pit stop. He's going to be pitting on the last lap. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. You know, we saw last uh, race, it takes about 11 seconds for a lap. So unless he can find a way to somehow gain four seconds on Adams, Adams is going to have about a second lead. Like, Adams is technically our leader with about a one-second lead on Claus, who has Milton right behind him, technically still in third. And then, then we start to get into the range of this is where he's going to come out there in that fifth, sixth, seventh range because that starts to be 11, 12 second mark. So as he's going to out in the middle of a huge battle when as, he finally fits. As Sting stands as it is, Piper and Clements are tied for second place in the points. To Chris has got to find a way by Thomas Walsh if he can get that second piece. And he's going on the inside of Malmody. And he's got that eighth spot, has he? Yes. So if he stays in that eighth place, he's guaranteed second place in the championship. Nice. <laughs> I mean, a lot of things are going to happen over the last lap, and either I can't do math with a calculator, and you're trying to do it like on the fly. No. Yeah, I, on the fly. I have yeah, no yeah. No chance of that. Oh, I think there was a battle change, or maybe a position change. I think it was, yeah, Sean Koo ahead of Colin yeah, Bardo. Sean got by Colin Bardo. It's the same move. He's running a little bit wide on uh, that whole area. And, yeah, that's that's back-to-back -back laps. Someone's just gone up the inside and taken the apex from him. Right in the board now with Chris. And Colin Bardo makes a little wide off of Fania 2. Well, now to trying to win this last race, too. He's battling up here with Adams. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're gonna. We could see a last lap battle for the win here. Well, and it's letting Milton reel it in. Milton's reeled it in at like you know almost a full second or so over this lap while they've been battling back and forth as well. So I don't think it's gonna let Piper get in there as well, but it might actually be first, second, and third battling, assuming the pit's gonna happen right here. Right, so I'm just gonna. Which Austin is actually into the pit lane. So as things stand as it is, there, Milton sitting in fourth place. He will be on 294. Clements is in eighth place. He is on 296. Piper is sitting in. Oh well, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be all changed now because Austin has made the pit stop. Onto yeah, the last lap then of the season. Is. Where is Austin gonna come out though? That's the thing. Ben's gonna oh, be in third. Piper's in fourth. Slip. That's. He needs Dom to do something because he doesn't have the slip for this. So Ben's gonna losing out the slip. This could lose you this entire battle because this was the this is the one you need it for to go down Kimmel with. Unless they get side by side and mess up, that's gonna be tough. Here we go, Ben. On towards the Kimmel straight for the last time this well, season. Clemens is also trying to battle back behind Lombaro as well, so he's trying to make sure he gets his points. Oh, he's trying to get a side draft off of uh, Rob Adams. Can he do late breaking in a bit Mitsubishi? No, Adams. Oh, he's got off the track. Did he get forced off there? There's contact again. And Adams just holds on to the second place, but he have got to be careful. He's trying to do the crisscross. Flashes the lights. He's not too happy again about that. But Adams holding on to the lead. But if they've got to be careful, Milton, yes, there. Milton is there now. So Carl's got to be somewhat very careful. Now, good again. Back to the championship. Milton will sit on 298 points. Piper will sit on 300 points. Clements is sitting in sixth place. 
that's 301 points so by my reckoning Clements will have second place by a single point if he can hold on for sixth place well, and who knows what's gonna happen up here at the front Niklaus is still trying to get that run on him he's out breaking wide cutting back on every single corner to try to get his car alongside oh my oh my Milton I thought he had it lost then oh he's gonna have a look oh. at the inside of the car maybe it's Stavolo 2 no he's I mean, not this is it he's got a double slip opportunity into the final corner oh this is gonna be a photo finish for the end of season nine what great race oh, it's yeah. been here tonight here we go freeway battle for the lead freeway oh. battle looks like for fourth oh, place five. too get the right maybe they'll, you can actually make either a line work I'm pretty sure Who's gonna? Chicane. Here we go. Who's it's, going up on? It's gonna be do or die, isn't it? It's gonna be do or die here. Who's flip. gonna do He's it? Adam's double. gonna protect. Adam's gonna protect. Late on the brakes goes Nicholas Cow. Can he make it yeah. stick? No, back. I don't think he Maybe can. Go oh, no, he's gonna right stick here. his nose in there too. Who's it going to no, be? Cole just runs a little wide. Then. It's going to be a final finish and Rob's just going to take it. Cole's just going to get second place. Melton in third. Clements will get second place in the championship. Piper was relegated down to fifth place there. So I think by my calculations, that is second place guaranteed for Chris Clements there. What a last race that was. I was amazing. That was a, tons of fun right there. My oh uh, my. That was that was some great fun racing. The congratulations there to Rob, his first win of the season, and what a nice win to have there, beating the champion in the process too. I I mean yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. I was watching it from Milton's view, and I yeah, I guess he could have gone left and gone all the way up there, but that was going to be just a magnificent finish, no matter how that worked out. That was just trying to find anywhere that you can get that run going. The GR4s have a little acceleration issue, so it's not like a true drag race to the finish line uh, once they came out of it, but that was fantastic. That was a blast to watch. I'm just doing the calculations right now, and I can confirm that it, were, that it is Chris Clements that will finish second place in the championship sitting finishing third in the championship will be ben milton he finished on 298 clements finished on 302 milton finished on 298 his teammate piper finished on 296 so that spot there that position lost for piper on that last lap to sean cool his real is actually cost him third place in the championship my oh my what a what a race that was there for the finish eh Hey, I mean, you know, and then, like, I mean, that's what you got to do. Like, uh, Adam said in the chat, you know, he hadn't won before. And when you haven't won before, that last lap, rules are almost thrown to the wind. Like, just don't kill the car next to you. But, I mean, I'm, you're racing for wins. Your elbows aren't even out. You're kicking legs. You're throwing toddlers out the car to try to slow people down. It doesn't even matter at that point. Like, wins are wins, right? You got to go for them. So, huge congratulations for his first win, to be honest with you. So uh, there you go, confirmation there, just saying congratulations to Carl on winning the championship. Well, there you go. Just to uh, clarify, what, what what do you think was your favourite race? I know you've only been there for like four races, but what did you what do you think of the uh, touring cars then? Oh man, making me think about previous rounds after that <laughs> race. That doesn't even seem fair. Um, it's hard <laughs> to ever vote against Alsace. Like I said, at Alsace uh, or Alcase, everyone says it different. Whatever. Um, the fact that it goes left, right, left, right the whole time, it just. I think it adds really interesting racing, so that was a lot of fun to watch. Probably my favorite races to watch were Alsace, but I mean, hey, every single one of these races were a blast, right? You know they're yeah. fun when everybody's putting their elbows out, so it was a blast. I had a wonderful time with it. Thanks for inviting me. And hopefully, you're going to be there for Season 10? Uh, hopefully. That Life's is weird right now, right? It's like 2020. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to confirm anything over about like six days out. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm just um. But hopefully, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it may start in about a couple of weeks' time, maybe three weeks. So it's going to be a bit of a short break for these drivers. So um, yeah, there you go. Um, I think there's going to be like a rally cross event. I can't mind if it's this Wednesday or is it next Wednesday. I'm not too sure. And um, which is going to be on Wednesday. So we will look forward to seeing some of that. But anyways, I have been there, uh, Sean. And I'm Jerry. And also um. Before we go, I also noticed there on the, on the Facebook page, apparently Paul Walsh is leaving us after the end of the season, so we'll miss you there, Paul, where it's been uh, fine sponsoring this championship, and uh, I think we're going to get uh, figured with uh, STD Designs, which is Sharps Designs or whatever. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so again, we'll look forward to the season 10 with the 1997 cars. Again, another six races will be out. I don't think we'll see Nicholas Cole racing in this championship again. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's the way it is. But anyways, thank you for watching. This has been the BTCC Blueprints with Paul Walsh uh, Season 9. And again, we will see you on Wednesday, I think in a couple of weeks' time, for the Rallycross event. So until then, we'll see you later.